Carlo Collodi was an Italian author of the mid-19th century. In 1883, he ended his career with his magnum opus, Pinocchio, that is best known for the movie that Walt Disney made almost 60 years later, with the story being generally more positive and better for child consumption in 1940. As is common in this genre of games, the story is explained using a plethora of information scattered across hundreds of sources, while not having all of it carry relevance to the plot at large. So do keep in mind, I'm going to be explaining the story with what information I found, and leaving out what I think is unnecessary to the overall synopsis. And now, we can get started. After being awoken, we find ourselves in the city of Krat, at the train station to be exact. While looking for our way out, we find a note left by a citizen. It explains there's a large doll killing people in the waiting room. So naturally, we kill it and find the key to the exit. During our exploration of the streets at large, we hear a radio broadcast that could give us a little more detail on the situation. Dear citizens of Krat, the recent public frenzy is believed to be just a momentary glitch. There is no cause for alarm. Do not panic, whatever you may hear. The city is safe to traverse. We repeat, do not be alarmed, citizens of Krat. We are effectively handling the situation with the cooperation of the workshop and the alchemists. The puppets are, naturally, imprinted with the Grand Covenant that prioritizes human safety above all. Please remain patient while the proper situation. Your active cooperation is requested and required. You will refrain from any unauthorized departures, assemblies, or active protests. Never forget that your safety is of the utmost importance to your safety. The time for fear is over. Crod is safe. Crod is safe. The lies of the city government aside, the main piece of information here is that the puppets are supposed to be following a grand covenant of some kind, akin to the three laws for my robot. The next event of note is our first boss we have conflict with, the parade puppet. After our conquest of the parade puppet, the voice in our head informs us that we need to lie to get into the hotel. One more thing I should mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. Welcome to the sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you?
good to see you. I am Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Croft to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Croft is dangerous for humans, and that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. Be careful. We move on in our search for Geppetto. And when going through the quarantine zone, we speak to a woman through a window. disease quarantine zone the loves people this is their last stop you are a good Samaritan for coming all the way here I want may I ask you a favor my family took my baby from me and sent me here they said it was for my own good but it was heartless just the same a baby must be with its mother please go to Croyd City Hall and bring me my baby please go thank you so much I can finally see my sweet Elena's face again. Please hurry. Hard scales spreading across my eyes. Before I lose my sight. Please. She said the baby was at City Hall. Should we check it out? Everybody's safe. Later, as we cross the Alchemist's Bridge, we find a man assailing a carriage. Come out, Geppetto! We've got a lot to answer for! You know what caused the puppet frenzy, don't you? You're their maker, practically their father! You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth! What's your problem? I'm here for the old man, get lost. Wait. You're the devil's puppet. You can't sneak past me. Die! So we encounter the mad donkey. And I don't think I need to tell you that it's a reference to the boys on Toy Island. We know this shit. Pinocchio's old enough where you don't need to have this stuff told to you. But I think, well, for one, I noticed, I don't know if there's a metaphor or anything to it, but I noticed that he appears to be using a modified lumber saw as a weapon. Pretty dope. Just something I noticed off the back of my brain. And but I do think how the Mad Donkey and probably what other humans that we'll see in the full game are going to symbolize partially is how easily adults even will start to forget self-restraint during times of crisis. Like, if you've been in a big city during a blackout, you can see looting and riots start too damn quickly. Close your eyes. Come to me. Feel alright. Just don't kill me.
a dream come true. Seeing you like this, I understand why some people despise me. I invented the puppets after all. I should take responsibility as their maker. But in order for me to do that, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me? leads to nothing but sadness. I should know. I am so grateful to you, kind one. Please take this token of gratitude. That's right. Please accept my heartfelt gratitude. First off, I'm not going to insult your intelligence and claim you don't know how this genre works since it's been fist-fucking the internet for the past... 14 years, so I'm gonna just skip by all the unnecessary bullshit as well as the assembly tool just because I found it kind of boring and I don't really just I don't really have anything to say on it. So instead I'll start on the guard mechanic. It reduces damage and allows you to rally health back and if you get right in that perfect moment you get no damage. Plate and fucking transition, do da, do da. I couldn't be fucked to rewrite this segment for the 11th damn time, so we got three unique meters for this game, and we're gonna start with this one on the top left called Fable, which you can only build up one charge at a time by using a consumable or dealing damage with your lighter, heavy attacks. Next up is durability, this gray meter on the right. It is much more annoying than it is in any other of the games in this genre because this meter is going to go down constantly. You attack, it goes down. You use a fable move, it goes down. You block, it goes down. You fucking do anything that isn't in use of your legion arm, an item, or dodging, that fucking meter goes down and it's going to reduce your damage as it goes down. Meaning, you have to stop and use this long ass fucking grinding animation in the middle of most of your fights. 
boss fights especially, it's really gonna slow you the fuck down the whole time, and it means you're gonna be cautious a lot more. All right, I'm gonna cut this rant off there because it just got way off topic and just became a profanity-filled hate slurry. I don't know where all that anger came from. It just showed the fuck up. So let's just get on to Legion Arms, all right? And there's only two worth mentioning, really. The puppet strings, which you get after beating the parade puppet, is pretty cool, and I'm not gonna make the scorpion reference joke. It's easy and unnecessary. Well, the puppet strings can only get, like, two uses out of the gauge, and you can refill the gauge using the cartridges, but all it really is useful for is controlling the combat environment. The other one is much more useful in direct combat, which is the fulminus that you get after beating the cop robot, but you don't have much to test it out on because there's no bosses in the demo after that one. So overall, it does seem like an interesting mechanic, but it's very unexplored in the demo. So I'll probably give another four out of five for gameplay depth and like a three out of five for my personal expectation. I just don't really have much expectation for the game. And there's much more coming out in September that I'm actually excited for. So I'm probably just going to cut this rant series of monologues here. And thanks for watching. I know this is a long video. And subscribe. Hit the, hit the notification bell so you can actually see when I'm streaming, thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you liked it, or if, if you found some ability for this video to help you make a decision on if you're gonna play the game or not. And uh, see you guys in the next video, I guess.